Hey guys, welcome back to the MSR workshop. So you're probably wondering why I'm not in the workshop and I'm wearing this apron. I think you'll like this video, so stick around. lasers what comes to mind for me it was cutting on wood doing engraving cutting acrylic cutting leather and just different types of materials that you could use outdoors or you would make jewelry out of them well today we're going to try something different that I've never tried for and that is doing some engraving on food this is a first time for me, so this is going to be an adventure just like it is going to be for you. So we're going to give this a shot. It could fail miserably or it could turn out. But yeah, let's get started. Alright, now that we've let these set up a little bit and harden up a little bit so we can engrave on them, we're going to grab a couple of these and we're going to take them outside and we're going to give this a shot. Alright, so to prepare a laser to put food in it, we want to put something down on the honeycomb bed just to protect it from any of the residue that we may have gotten when we were cutting wood or acrylics. So I'm going to go ahead and put some wax paper down and then we're going to jump over to Lightburn and get our file and our picture that we're going to des uh, design on our cookie. So the next part is here getting our design here. And I just grabbed this little logo here of the Monport and I made a four inch circle. So let me show you how to make a specific size circle. So let's go ahead and delete this circle. Now I'm using a Mac computer, but I'm not using a Mac keyboard. So it might be a little bit different on your keyboard, but I'm holding the shift and then I am enlarging my circle. Now once that gives me a perfect circle, can I'm going to come up here because my dimensions are locked and I'm going to type in four inch and hit enter. And now I have a perfect four inch circle. Now the reason I'm doing four inches is because that is approximately how big my cookies are. And that is purely going to be for aligning this up. Now, if you have a light burn camera, that's going to make this a whole lot easier. But since we don't, we're just going to use this little circle for an alignment tool. And I'm going to change this color to black. This is going to be set to green and this is going to be fill. So next, let's go ahead and highlight this whole thing and move it approximately somewhere where we think our cookie is. And we're going to go ahead and hit frame. OK, so we have it centered as best as we can. And I'm going to guess on the settings for the power. Right now, I've got 20% power and 20% speed. I have no idea what this will do. So let's go ahead and start and see what happens. Okay guys, 
So we have got way too much power on that. This went all the way through almost. So we are gonna leave the power the same, but we are gonna speed this up a whole bunch. So let's flip our cookie around and try the other side. All right, so we centered it as best we could since we're using the other side. And I went ahead and bumped my speed up to 100 and left my power settings the same. too bad. Let's try speeding it up another time. All right, so the settings for this particular one is we're going to bump it up to 130 millimeters a second at the same 20% power. So let's give this one a shot. So here are my three examples. So this was the first one that I did. As you can see, it got really dark and it does have a bit of an odor. It's a little bit of a smoky odor to it because this one was way too dark. And then there was this one and this was the last one where I bumped down my lines per inch to 100. This seemed to turn out pretty good. Still has a very faint, uh, maybe burnt sugar smell. The real question is, is it gonna affect the taste? So let's do a quick taste test. So let's try this one. Obviously we know this one doesn't smell good and it was too dark. Let's just see if it tastes weird. Ugh. Yeah, definitely has a burnt taste to it. Not good. Definitely has a burnt taste to it. Not quite as bad. Still has an odor though. And the last one where we did quite a bit lighter. So that one's barely noticeable. It's still there just a little bit, but this is passable. So this could be a doable one. I could see this be useful possibly for making custom cookies for say your kid's class. It's an interesting experiment. I might try some other stuff here in the future. I know fondant probably would cut pretty good and I wonder if you can make stuff on it. So yeah, that was an interesting little experiment. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, or if you've ever done this before, please leave that in the comments. And I do have a 6% off link for this Monport laser if you're interested in purchasing one. 
you can look down in the description below where I have that link. As also, I do read my comments and I would really appreciate you subscribing. It does help out the channel and stay tuned for the next video. Thanks guys.